afternoon, everyone. It's a nice sunny Sunday afternoon, so I decided to get out of my house, get out of the apartment, come outside in the sun to the park and film my video here. So today I want to talk about one of the more popular or talked about language programs or series of language programs out there, and it's called Michelle Thomas. I've used two of the Michelle Thomas programs. I've used Michelle Thomas French and Michelle Thomas Arabic, which is Egyptian Arabic, by the way, if you wanted to know. Um, and I'm just going to give my review, my impression, uh, based on my experiences with it. Now, for each of them, I did the basic course, the advanced course, and the vocabulary builder course. I've done all three for both of those uh, languages. Um, the names are not really accurate. I don't think any of the advanced ones are really advanced. I think it's more like introductory part one, introductory part two, and more introductory vocabulary. That's what I would rename them to. Uh, I'll get more into that later, but basically, Michelle Thomas is an accelerated learning program, an accelerated learning style. His, uh, his big thing, Michelle Thomas's big thing is the, an absence of stress when you're learning. There should be no stress and no feeling of responsibility for your own learning. The responsibility for your learning rests with the teacher. So you're supposed to feel very relaxed when you're learning and that puts you in a better uh, state for learning efficiently, which is something I agree with. I try to use that in my teaching as much as possible, try to make the students feel relaxed and feel that um, there's no pressure upon them to learn something they're not ready to learn, all of that. So that's part of his methodology is the lack of, uh, the absence of stress and the absence of responsibility. And when he's teaching, he's kind of meditative, like you can hear on the CDs when you listen to it. Mr. Thomas himself, he's, he's, he's very relaxed and I think he's consciously meditating and that's supposed to relax the listener and the students. So that's just something I noticed, I can't guarantee that, but that's what I feel when I listen to it. The guy himself is meditating when he's teaching the course, that's supposed to transfer to you, the listener. So there's that part. Another thing, another element of the accelerated learning is that he teaches the language in an order where everything that's taught is connected to what's taught next. So everything is a building block. He's teaching you a small piece, then he teaches you another piece on top of that and another piece, and then you're building progressively more difficult sentences as he does that. And the way he does it is just very, um, it's, it's just very uh, easy to learn, easy to learn each piece and he does a good job of connecting them and explaining them and using some mnemonics to help you remember and that kind of thing. It's also a very teacher-centered approach. So the teacher is always directly engaged with you and telling you what sentence to produce. So there's no free practice. Like basically current methodology of language teaching is you, you teach the language and then you have some, some exercises to practice the language structures and after that there's some kind of free practice like somebody will ask you a question and you have to respond freely from the things you've learned without being prompted, without being reminded what to say. So at some stage you are producing the language freely. But in the Michelle Thomas programs there's none of that. It's all controlled practice which means that you're learning a lot of structures kind of quickly but you're not given the opportunity to produce them freely. What I think of it is, the way he set it up is like a very sheltered environment for learning that language. Like you're not supposed to do any homework, you're not supposed to use any other materials, you're only supposed to rely on him for all of the learning. Uh, so the positives of this accelerated learning method are that you feel very encouraged you feel very encouraged and motivated because it's set up in a way that you never feel that you're failing. You always feel like you've succeeded. You're not allowed to fail in the method really and if you make a mistake he corrects you right on the spot and you're supposed to fix it immediately. So you always finish every moment of the lesson feeling successful. So that's kind of, uh, it's meant to encourage you and meant to keep you in that ideal learning state. Which is good for what it is. Uh, but it can be negative in, in a way. Part of the feeling of that, the, uh, you feeling constantly encouraged and feeling nothing but success all the time, it makes people sometimes feel kind of invincible and it makes them delude themselves into thinking that they're really good at the language when actually they're still a really low beginner. So that's 
kind of part of the danger of the Michelle Thomas method. You can go online and you can read some people's reviews of the method and you look on Amazon. Some people are saying, wow, I'm fluent after five hours and things like that. And you think, no, you're not. Come on. That's just a, a kind of self-delusion. And I guess just, people get, what's the word? Um, it's kind of euphoria, I would say, from just that feeling of success makes people really excited. And that's good if you are thinking of it realistically. If you know from the start, okay, this is an introductory course, uh, I don't expect to be fluent from this, I know that's impossible. If you have that realistic attitude in mind, then that sense of euphoria is good because it motivates you to keep studying and to, to get some more materials and keep going with it. So it's good, just don't fall into that trap of thinking you know more than you do. Because the danger of learning in that really sheltered environment where you feel nothing but success, nothing but relaxed kind of confidence with the language. When you get outside of that into the real world and you try to communicate with a native speaker and you don't understand anything and you can't remember how to make a sentence, and you can't remember the vocabulary you learned in that Michelle Thomas sheltered box, then you're going to feel discouraged, right? If you're not expecting that. So that's, that's like I mentioned before, you don't get any experience interacting in the Michelle Thomas program. You don't learn how to respond to anything that is said unexpectedly. You don't learn how to accomplish a task. You don't learn how to paraphrase or say things you don't know how to say yet. It's always just you say something you already know how to say. You say exactly what the teacher tells you. It's too controlled for you to be able to transfer that into conversations with native speakers. So it, it's good for getting one very basic thing down, which is the sentence structure of the language. You get the sentence structure and basic vocabulary so you can make sentences. But the harder part of becoming proficient in a language is interaction and communication. Unless you just want to type some sentences, unless you just want to write sentences in, you know, as an exercise, then you need to interact. So that's the part that's really the challenge. And it could cause a lot of discouragement if you are not prepared for that, just focusing on the Michelle Thomas uh, language style of learning, okay? So with all that said, I think Michelle Thomas is a great program and it's a great learning system. You just have to remember that it's introductory. Once you finish it, you should, um, you should basically keep studying. You need to, well, I would make flashcards with the, the vocabulary and the sentences that you learned in Michelle Thomas. And you can find some of those online. If you use Anki, you can find some pre-made decks that other people made and you can just download them. So I recommend those. Um, but if not, you can make your own flashcards and review them so that you don't lose that, that language. Um, and also I would just get into your next, your next um, program of study, get a textbook, get some more CDs, that kind of thing, start to take lessons, that's a big one, start to take real lessons with real people, or get some conversational tutoring through a site like italki, or, you know, Skype lessons, that kind of thing. Just keep going with your study. When you learn that much in a short period of time, like you do with Michelle Thomas, then I think you're in danger of losing it really quickly too, because the links are a little bit loose. Um, I mean, he teaches with some mnemonics and things like that that help you remember, but Again, the danger is if you feel, if you finish the program feeling, ah, I'm already good at this language, I can take a week off, then you're going to lose a lot of what you just learned in those eight hours of Michelle Thomas study. So take it for what it is. It's a good beginner's program. Once you're finished, keep it moving. Take that motivation, that euphoria, and use that fire to fight on and get good at the language because you're not good yet. You just got a good start. So that's my impression. That's what I think of Michelle Thomas. I hope that is helpful. Talk to you later and have a good sunny Sunday afternoon. See ya.